Hello everyone and welcome back to episode 30 of Omni Factory. Today I've just been over here at our uh, distillation tower area. Um, one thing I was having an issue with is uh, we were running out of diesel. <laughs> Hang on, actually you can't really see it here. Uh, diesel. We've been, we've been using it to make, yeah, see, nitro diesel 855. It should be a thousand is the, the limit. And you can see my diesel supply going up and down quite randomly there. Hang on, I'll get another one in a minute. I think there's no light. Yeah, see, light fuel just flashed in for a second there. So uh, what's going on, well, what I've done is this was an MV uh, CEF and energy input. I've upgraded it to EV and now it runs quite a lot faster. This is probably four times faster or maybe more. Um, and we're still okay in terms of power usage here. Maybe we'll need to put another one of these in. I'm not too sure. Might be worth putting another one in, but uh, we'll do that later. But this hopefully is going fast enough now that we can keep up uh, our, our diesel production. And this one is also, yeah, this one is using up a bunch of stuff too. <laughs> How come it's, run? oh, yeah, actually this is going quite a lot faster now. Look at that. It's still filling up though, so that's okay. Uh, maybe we'll need another one of these eventually too. Although on, on the other hand, you know, we're getting relatively close to getting a fusion reactor. So maybe we won't need to upgrade it too much anymore. Our power here is uh, doing okay. Yeah, so anyway, that's one thing I've done. The other thing I've done is um, a bunch of stuff. So I did end up making um, the Osmium, where is it? The Osmium machine, so here we go. Uh, this is looking quite nice now. <laughs> um, this one is making Osmium, this one is making Iridium, and this one is making Osmiridium. So you can see here, uh, osmium dust, iridium dust, and yep, three in one. Um, I don't have a huge amount yet. Basically I have uh, one, I did one run with the micro miner to get a bit out of it. And then I've also been doing this thing here. Uh, this was doing, uh, what's this stuff? Chal Chalcoprite and Pentaldite. I used all that up to do the, um, you know, the thing where you get the sludge, this one, sludge, platinum sludge. So with the platinum sludge, you centrifuge it and you get tiny piles of them. Uh, so I did all that and I got all of the osm osmium and iridium I could get out of that, that I had in stock. And yeah, so we have enough osmium and iridium and osmiridium to make the packaged crafting, which is actually what I'm planning to do today. The only thing left on this tab is the ultimate extended crafting table, which is actually doable now. I have enough stuff to make more of these. Uh, and yeah, some of these and these. Yeah, I could make all of this pretty easily. Um, but we don't need it today, so I'm not going to do it right at this very moment. Uh, there's, there's nothing new here. These are mostly what's left is just random bits and pieces. So like the power storage stuff, um, making a, a space station and a warp core. I don't know if that's worth doing um, but I might do it just for the quest <laughs> um, and then over here I've done well we made iridium so I got this quest done um, I've also done the qubit processing so if you look over not this one here yeah so we did the one the one using indium uh, and radon and a nano CPU wafer and then it chops it up um, oh wait no that, that's not that's that's the yeah that's the final one that's that's what we did over here to get this one so we did it with this recipe not this recipe um, but I did do all of the other quests as well so I did do make arsenic and I did make indium so you technically only needed to do one of these but I ended up doing both and I also set up this um, circuit over here uh, with the IV uh, assembler it's uh, everything we've already had so SMD capacitor transistor Fine platinum wire, we made this uh, like two episodes ago, I think. And then this, and then this, so we had all of that stuff. So now um, I haven't set up the rest of the the rest of them yet, but I should be able to do that pretty easily. So if we look at the circuit recipe, 
I think these guys need, um, uh, what do they need? Oh, that's pretty easy. Uh, it's the LUB one. Yeah, it needs a chrome plate and a quantum eye, both of which I have. Uh, we have a reasonable amount of chrome. chrome. Oh, come on. Yeah, there it is. Oh, actually, not that much, I guess. Chrome we can get from Ruby, so I might have to grab, uh, do some more Ruby mining. But the other thing that we needed was uh, this thing, Power IC, which is with. Oh, actually, that's easy enough too. It's just a blue lens. So we can set one of those up too. And then I guess when we get to the high powered one, that's when we need some more indium, gallium, phosphide, which we've already got. Red alloy, we get the high powered one. And this is allows us to do, I think, L, uh, no, what's the next one? UV, ultimate voltage and max voltage too. Interesting. So yeah, we'll need to do that eventually too, but not for a little while. Okay, so that's that. Uh, what else have I missed? That's it. That's all. I, that's what I've been working on. I've also set up some other um, bits and pieces of oh yeah, that's the indium gallium phosphide. Um, some extra uh, uh, ore processing stuff. So cobaltite makes arsenic. Uh, we have heaps of that going. Um, what else have I been working on? A few other bits and pieces. Cobaltite. Uh, you, oh yeah, this uraninite ore, um, you can use that to make uranium-238. So I now have a whole bunch of uranium-238 from um, uraninite dust. Uh, if you look at the, if you look at this guy, you pulverize it, you pulverize it. Well, even the first pulverizing, you get some uran uranium. Pulverize it again, uh, centrifuge it, and then you electrolyze it. Or ke No, chemical reactor with aluminium and uraninite, you get uranium-238. So now we have a bunch of that, and that should be going over here doing its stuff. Nothing in here at the moment. But this guy should be this guy should be running. Yeah, so he's slowly centrifuging. And we're getting um, a bunch of stuff now. So I have heaps of uh, two stacks of uranium-235. And we have a bunch of these ones now. So we should be okay, I think, with this stuff. I'll leave it going, obviously, for a bit longer and we'll see how we go. So today's episode... We are planning to do packaged auto, so that's uh, this, this stuff, and then this thing, and then we should be able to do a packaged auto build of, uh, you know, one of the, oh, these guys are filling up, but these guys are completely empty, <laughs> okay, yeah, so packaged auto, and then we should be able to do, like, automated crafting of up to the tier 4 micro miner that we have so far. So let's get started on these recipes. So let's see, package. I don't know which one is the first one to go for. Uh, let's just get the package. No, which one is it? Yeah, yeah, this one is the one we need to make now. Ooh, block of crystal tin, that is expensive. Blank pattern, quartz glass, titanium plate. So we need this guy. Let's get this. And this ME quartz glass titanium formation core packaging component. So how do we make the packaging component? Live ender titanium vibrant. Okay, we got all of that stuff. So we should be able to make it with all that, I think. Oop, I'm gonna need a new row of molecular assemblers, I think. So let's see, can we make it? Yes, we can. Okay, and what else are we in? Packager, unpackager, and encoder. Packager, oh, there we go, we got that one. Uh, packager. We should already have all of that stuff. Yes. Um, we can actually use our new EV circuits for this one. Packager. Unpackager. And the package encoder, what was it called? Package recipe encoder, pattern encoder. Hmm. Uh, oh, it needs, <laughs> okay. Circuit. 
encoder. So this guy is easy enough. And we use this circuit. Okay, so let's see, is that everything that we need for this? Let's put you there. And oh, we still got a bit of space left, I guess. It's not very well sorted. So this guy, packager, what do we need? ME import bus, okay. What do we need here? ME pattern terminal. And what do we need here? Nothing, okay. So we need a ME import. I'm surprised I don't have a recipe for this yet. And what was the other one? ME pattern, was it the pattern terminal? Yes, it was, I think it was. Uh, okay, that's doable. That's a ME terminal. I think I've already got a recipe for that. So let's see, what do we got? We got the unpackager, package recipe encoder. We can do that now. And uh, packager we can do now too, I think, yes. Okay, very good. Oh, that was another, pa I guess we need more of these anyway, right? So yeah, we need at least, we need at least one of these per tier of extended crafting, no, two of them per tier of extended crafting table. Uh, okay, so that should be enough for the quest. Yes, I'll give us another one of those. And what do we need here? Ultimate, oh, we do need the ultimate extended crafting table. Well, there we go. Let's make it. Uh, well, first of all, let me put you somewhere. We're going to need to do the, the we're going to need this to encode our recipes. Uh, where? Somewhere convenient to use. <laughs> I guess I can just put it there for now. Maybe I'll put another another uh, fence under there or something. <laughs> um, okay, so we need to make the ultimate extended crafting table, which is this guy. I think I have a conflux catalyst, but I need three more. Yes, I can make it very good. And then we need ultimate components. So what's that, 16 of those? Oh, are you sort of my number of items? Ah, ultimate, was it component or catalyst? Component, oh, that's good. 16 of those. Oh, what are we missing? Block of emerald. Oh, I think I make my emerald plates by uh, cutting a block of it, that's why. Okay, and then there we go. So it was 16 of these, 15, 16. And what else do we need? Oops, no, there. Uh, black steel plates, we need, I don't know, what is that? Like 16, 20 of them. Oh, I already have a lot. <laughs> oh, am I making black steel automatically? It looks like I am. So, okay, we've got 12 so far. And then we need uh, an elite crafting table, which we've got. Oh, and we need four more crystal tin components and blocks of emeralds. Okay. So we need four blocks of emeralds. We need the extended crafting table, which I have a bunch of. Actually, what I'll do, I'm going to put these in this chest here so we don't accidentally use them for in a crafting recipe because if we use them all up, then it's really painful to make a new one. <laughs> Wait, do I already have a recipe for that? Oh, black iron frame. Okay, I thought that was the crafting. Uh, what was the other thing I needed? Uh, the, the ultimate guys, 16 of those and uh, the block of emerald, oh, and the crystal team. Uh, I forget, was it the component? Was it the component or the catalyst? Component, okay, very good. That's not too expensive then. 
Yes, we can do it. Okay, so that should be enough. I think that's everything. No, it's not everything. We're missing... Oh, another Conflux Catalyst. Oh, good, it's still there. Okay, next, uh, alternate. Boom. Okay, and then we can uh, just duplicate it in the crafting bench. So let's get a bunch of them going. I like to make a, a full stack of them. It doesn't take too long. And then I'll do the same thing here. I'll put one up there so that we keep it. And if we ever need more, we can just duplicate them again. So let's go. I guess what I'll do is put you there and you there. There we go. The big one in the middle. So then we need, uh, okay, we need all of the, well, oh, it's, this is to automate all of them, is it? Uh, so I don't want to, I'm not going to do all that in this episode right now because it's basically the same, just bigger. <laughs> so maybe what I'll do is I'll automate, I'll get one of them automated and we'll get the, the first tier of, of, uh, of, uh, micro minor automated. And then I can do the rest by myself. It's pretty much the same thing. So let's go for automation interface. Yes. So that's easy. Actually, we should probably do the, um, not the, not this one. We should do this one so that we can get crystal tin automated straight away. Uh, so can we do that? Yeah. And then, um, it's, oh wait, then we need an endest star, which, oh, actually that's pretty easy. Okay, let's just get that. <laughs> uh, what are those things called? Nether stars. We needed two of them. Okay, um, and then extended, oh, this guy. So what are we missing? Oh, wait. Wait, what was I looking at then? Elite Package Crafter. Wait, what was I looking at? What did we need the Endest Star for? This thing, combina oh, Combination Package Crafter. Okay, we don't need that yet. I mean, we will need it eventually, right? Craft. Oh, wow, they look exactly... Oh, that's really confusing. <laughs> Why did they have to make it the same? Uh, okay, extended, I forget what it's called now, Elite Package Crafter, okay, Elite Components, ME Packaging Component, so four of those, and what was the other one, uh, ME something or other. Can you see it there? I can't see it there. Ah, <laughs> uh, now I don't know. Extended. Let me packaging component. Okay. Uh, all right. That's not going to be a quest though, right? Because we've only <laughs> done part of it. So the question is, where am I going to put these things? Because you kind of need this at the same point. I'm guessing maybe what I'll do is I'll put them in here. I have a bunch of space here for random bits and pieces. Uh, yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. So let me grab that because you kind of want that to be near where your crafting stuff is like the, the cores are because you got to take the, the packages out of it and then put them in the encoder. And then, yeah, so I'm going to tidy this up um, later on, obviously. Um, but, oh, not you. Uh, so we put you there. And then we put the un... No, I don't think you need an... Uh, I'm going to have to figure out. I'm going to have to remember how to do all this now. <laughs> Let's just first get over here so we can get our conduits oops that's fine uh, so we'll need that and we'll need 
the power one. Oh, we probably need more than, well, we might not need more than that, but we will eventually need more than that. So let's get the power over there. How can we do this? I guess like this. Does this thing go in there? No, I can't remember. Do I need to put the unpackager next to it? I can't remember how you do this now. So let me just do like, let's encode the first packet, right? So we're doing uh, this guy, tier one, micro minor, Oh, wait, no, tier two. The tier one we can already do. Tier two. There. And then we'll save that. Okay. And then we have... Uh, I'm pretty sure we put the unpackager next to it. And you can actually put it around all... You can have one of these, like, all around this guy. I think that's how it goes. So we put one there. And it's going to need power two. Okay, this is going to be really ugly. And then we have the unpackager. I mean, no, the packager goes anywhere. So I'm going to put it next to... I think what I'll do is I'll just put it like one above it. Because we want to keep like the, it needs power two, right? Yeah. We want to make sure it uh, is like associated with it. So when we come to collect the packages, we got to collect the packages to uh, make them like to, to add new recipes. You got to re add recipes at the same time to them both. Okay, so let's hop down there. I don't need these ones anymore. We're going to need this. like that okay and if that is right then it should just work okay we gotta make all the inputs first I mean it seems to like it <laughs> Okay, these guys, there, and then now is it making it? This thing actually runs kind of slow. Wait, is it doing it? Did I put that in the wrong spot? Maybe it doesn't go under it. Maybe it has to go to the side. Hmm. Okay, maybe not. Maybe I did do this wrong. Uh, hmm. Uh, okay, <laughs> I'm dumb. This, this is a the wrong recipe. This is a, a recipe for a uh, extended, like the, the lower tier, not the not the elite one, the advanced one. So let me just uh, delete you. <laughs> We're going to do an elite recipe. So we'll do a crystal teen because we're going to need a bunch of that stuff. So you're an elite recipe. And let's, uh, yeah put you back in there and you back in there and oh let's also ooh, what did I drop I put in the wrong one so let's cancel this and what happens to that do I have to break this and re I don't know oops that went in the wrong spot 
Okay, so not making anything. Let's try to make crystal team now. I think I have some nuggets of nether star. Yeah, so there we go. Now it's doing. Oh, there we go. Now it's working. Yeah, and this is how slow it is. So you can have like multiple of these things around this guy. And then if you're making like, you know, if you've got the, enough uh, co-processors, then it will work. So yeah, we just made our first crystal team component. So we can now do, I think the tier, tier three and even tier four. Let's do tier three because we'll keep trying to keep them in order. That's an elite one, yeah. So let's put it in this slot here. And, oh, wait, it's not a processing one. There. And then tier four is also not processing. There. So let's save you. Oh. save you <laughs> and then put you back here and you there and then we can make well let me grab the so let's get rid of these I don't need these anymore and this will this will give us the ingredients so we don't have to wait for them to all craft up Oh, I guess I need to make the lasers. Uh, and oh yeah, so the, oh, I have a couple already. No, that's the basic one. So this is not gonna work because I need the laser, right? Yes, and oh, and I don't have a recipe for tungsten steel chest. Weird. I do have tungsten steel chests. It must be, uh, oh, I don't. That is so strange. Okay, anyway, I think this is pretty much done. Um, I'm gonna have to set up not just the elite one, but also the, the uh, advanced one and the ultimate one. And I'll tidy up this room, make it look a bit nicer, and I'll tidy these up and make them a bit nicer. Um, and then we'll have um, fully automated tier one through four micro miners. And then we'll also be able to make the tier five one after that because I'll have, you know, the only thing I'm missing for this to, to allow me to start this quest is uh, a rhodium heavy plating, which I can do with an LUV compressor, which I think we should be able to do now. Did I actually make, yeah, I did make LUV machine holes. So yeah, um, and then we could probably get to that, which means we can get Nakwada, which means we can start along on this point chain too. Uh, I also need to get high speed steel type G because we need that to make the ingots here. So this is actually not too difficult as well. I think tungsten steel plus chrome plus vanadium plus molyb denim, molyb denim. <laughs> Molly denim is the one that I don't have yet. Is that per yeah, okay, so that's probably we can find it somewhere, I guess. Um, but everything else is easy to find. And I don't think we need a whole oh you do actually need HSSG. You do actually need a fair bit of these. And then you gotta make this one. We'll have to make that eventually, which is with this one, and then we'll also have to make this one eventually, which is with this one. Uh, so yeah, we'll, we will have to make all of this stuff eventually, which means we need all a lot of the in, in you know input ingredients too. But uh, how come there's lines there? Yeah, let's see how we're going with our diesel production. All right, now we're back to a, a, a thousand. Oh, now we're way, we're going really well now. <laughs> cool. All right, so I'll get cracking on that and um, I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching, bye.